Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Um, I'm doing a collective reading for you. This reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, okay? Don't force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, the likes, the subscribes, comments. You guys are so good to me out here. Thank you so much. You're so nice to me every single day. Um, thank you. All right, so Divine, what do you have for my beautiful collective today? Messages for the collective. Oof. Oh boy, somebody's got the hots for you. They're just watching you. They're watching you out here, moving on, having a victory, being strong, um, high vibing. You're accomplishing something here with the chariot, I feel. Um... And I feel like this person's angry and upset, okay? Um, I'm feeling an anger off of them uh, because you're getting something. You're um, Maybe it's you're getting a blessing or the divine is blessing you with something. Your money's growing. See, they thought that you would always be sitting here um, kind of with a handout. Maybe they thought of you as they wanted you to feel destitute or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel like this person is angry. That's the that's the feeling I'm getting is that they're angry. They're angry at your success. They're angry because you're out here accomplishing goals. They're watching you move on. You could be a Cancer, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, you're like the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and they're over here burdened. This person may have a lot of financial burdens or um, maybe they have a property here. I'm seeing this home. Um, they could work very hard and you, I don't know, I, I feel like you're easily reaching your goals here. You're accomplishing, accomplishing something huge. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor and you're about to get new love. Yeah, see, this is why they're upset. Because you're succeeding. And, um, and they wanted to see you kind of groveling here. Begging for things. Um, feeling destitute in lack mentality, right? I feel like that's how they wanted to see you. And they, I feel like maybe this person wanted to control your finances somehow too. Like... Um, because I see them giving to everybody else, but just ignoring you and not really caring. Okay, they just kind of ignored you. Like, um, yeah, did they want to try to control what you were making, or they thought that you would always be uh, struggling, that kind of thing? And now, look, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. You're becoming very abundant. Okay. I feel like if you have a business too, some business or a creative project, um, it's going to really start booming here in, in July. So congratulations for that. But yeah, you could be, some of you are destined to just make a fortune. Some of you are in your destiny, on your destined path right now, moving forward really quickly, accomplishing things really quickly. Um, and you could very well be destined to, to make a fortune here. And you're about to get new love as well. And this person's going to be, they're going to be heartbroken when they find out you have new love. But um, they're just feeling very defeated here. They're in the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands energy, angry, upset, may want to, may want to say something about this. They may be, because um, I feel like they're very upset. I feel like this person is one step away from coming in and trying to start some kind of fight with you. And it's all because it's all because you're succeeding. It's because of your success. They're mad. They're big mad. And they're trying to think of what they can say here. What can they say? Yeah, look, and I feel like they're... Um, They've been waiting for, yeah, you're in high priestess energy moving on. They've been waiting for something that they've been working on to grow, and it's not. They may, and they may be losing all of their money here. 
and maybe only having one pentacle left, enough to have a new beginning with. And meanwhile, you're in high priestess energy moving on, not speaking to this person and keeping, this is keeping all of your moves hidden, okay? So you're not even focused on this person. You've got your back turned towards them, but look at them. They're, they're watching like everything that you do. Yeah, this person is in, it's either spiritual jail, they're in, they're, they could be in, in real jail or headed there, okay, or bad health, right? Having a lot of burdens, feeling all beat up, okay? In a lot of regret here for the decisions they made, um, for the way they talked about you behind your back, but still at the same time, they're mad at you for, for succeeding. I feel like this person... Um, they took advantage of you here, turned their back on you completely, and now they can't get their eyes off of you. See how they're looking at you here? They can't, while their world is burning down behind them, okay? So all they're doing is focusing on you, possibly moping around, secretly feeling sad inside because they're, they've lost you, um, watching you accomplish things very quickly, and uh yeah they're they're angry though with the i feel like this is this that they want to try to find a way to come back in around um and start something with you i feel like this person wants to start some kind of argument just to get your attention okay because you're really not paying attention to them at all but they were the ones who ignored you especially when you needed um, possibly needed help from them the most or answers for communication from them the most. You've got your back turned on this person. You're, you're keeping your moves hidden. You're not speaking to them. Yeah, and they don't want to let you go now. Now they want to get back together. So I feel like this person is strategically thinking about what they're going to say. Um, they're about to come back in, but this per this is somebody who's angry, okay? I feel like they're angry, um, especially with the King of Swords out here coming under the, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini. I feel like their health is dwindling as well. This person could have some kind of serious health issue. And this is somebody who projects onto you, okay? They don't really want to face the facts about their own life and the things that they have done. This is somebody who puts off confronting their own issues. But I feel like they don't have a problem coming in and popping off on you and projecting their stuff onto you. That's the feeling I'm getting here, just to get your attention. And they're definitely angry, um, I feel like they're big mad about your major success here. Yeah, you could be a Virgo, um, Cancer, heavy on Cancer energy. Aries, maybe Taurus. Yeah, you're. This is. They walked away from their wish fulfillment, man, and now this person doesn't know what to do. Okay, because they they betrayed you. You're not speaking to this person unless they come out with the truth, okay? Unless they're decent to you. The, this is like the happiness card. If this person's coming in being a, being a butt, you're not going to deal with them. They have to be, I feel like they have to be polite. They have to be honest. They have to tell you the truth. I feel like this is somebody that you know has lied to you in the past um, maybe talk smack about you before and laughed about it, okay? Thinking there would be no consequences, but the consequence here is huge. They lost you. You gave this person your love at one point, collective, and they betrayed you and backstabbed you for it, and you want this person to admit that they've been talking smack about you behind your back. You want them to admit to everything, that they've done instead of projecting their their bs onto you which is it looks to me like that's what this person does and that's what they're about to do again just to get your attention yeah here they come with an apology okay 
maybe wanting a new beginning or an, another opportunity with you. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. What does this person want? They may even want some money from you. Yeah, you're blocking. You're like, I don't care what they want, Becca. I'm blocking. I'm blocking this energy out. I don't want to deal with them anymore. See, and that's why they're upset. Um, yeah, you may see that or feel this person coming towards you to give you a fake apology. I feel like it's a fake apology. They know it, too. Look at how they're staring at this fish, right? Like, if I just give the collective this, this crappy little apology, I can maybe get some money off of them, or I can find out how they're doing, what they're doing. You're not letting this person know anything. I feel like you just don't want to talk to them anymore. Um, this could be even a narcissist, okay? Like, they're borderline narcissistic. Yeah. Clarify this page of pentacles. This person's, um, I feel like they're kind of, yeah, they don't want anyone else near you here. They don't. I feel like you're about to meet someone new or that's what they're thinking. Okay, whether it's happening yet or not, this is what they're thinking. In the back of their mind, right? If you meet somebody new, they maybe they want to sabotage things. They could have pushed several people away from you um, by talking smack about you, um, walking all over you, basically, is what the, this person did. If anybody else talks to you, they're going to want to sabotage this because they can't stand the thought of you being with anybody else. And they know that you're the catch out here. Uh, anybody would be if every whoever doesn't want the empress and the minor arcana would be a fool okay yeah they um i feel like they're coming to talk but they're angry okay they're angry but they're gonna play it off like yeah i'm sorry you know what no it's fake you know this you know i feel like this is the person who has tried to they've tried to ruin your other connections anybody else who talks to you um or wants to meet you or wants to date you i feel like they find a way to get rid of that person one way or another and i feel like it's by spreading lies and rumors okay and then they they've smiled about it later and i you know intuitively high priestess queen of cups you know that this is the this is what they do and you want to hear it from them. You want them to admit that they've been doing this. If they come towards you, yeah. I, I'm, honestly, some of you think I'm, they're never going to admit to anything because this person's just toxic. This is hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And you know it's, it's almost like this toxic person is right up on your heels or something. And you're, you're blocking this energy out. You know they want to come forward and communicate. And you're, you're blocking them out because it always ends up in a tower moment. That's what this person does. They get mean. They get nasty. They get all up in your head. They cut you down. They project everything onto you. Well, I don't want to confront my own issues and my own demons, so I'm going to, I'm going to, Put it all on the collective. You know what? Yeah, this is why you don't want to talk to this person. I feel like this is a narcissist, a manipulator. And there's the narcissist card right there. Right there, the emperor. And this is what they're going to try to do. They're going to, come, they're going to come towards you and start an argument just to get your attention, get you all up in your head, and project their frustrations onto you and blame you. Okay? And then they sit back all flipping smug. It makes them feel better. It builds their ego somehow. No, no, no. This is what you're not going to allow anymore. Okay? And I feel like this is somebody who's done this to you a lot. And they just can't stand that you're out here happy and successful without them and not paying any attention to them. 
Yeah, this person, they need to go. Yep, you've got your boundaries up against this person. Yep, because they betray you. They ruin connections for you. Just like I said, this is somebody who sabotages connections and they could have done it up to five times. Up to five times. Five or six. I think they've done it to a lot of uh, other connections for you in the past and they're about to do it to somebody else when they come forward and meet you okay they would just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it okay because they want control over you they want to keep you down under this blanket um, they would love to see you impoverished and destitute they 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 don't want anybody else around you they want to be in control not just of your money and your future but love and you're out here manifesting new love now. You're manifesting a king of a king of, of pentacles is what I just saw in the deck. Temperance angel energy. You're a master manifester, very peaceful, highly tapped in and intuitive, okay? Light worker energy here. You could be a Sagittarius, maybe dealing with the Sagittarius. You could be a Leo, Cancer, yeah, but somebody, I feel like somebody is um, about to travel towards you. Okay, I'm getting two travel cards here. This is a new soulmate connection that's coming in. Okay, and that's exactly what you've been manifesting, by the way. These two cups here, this is a soulmate connection you're mixing up. Something new with your toe dipped in the water. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you're about to get somebody new here. And, I, you know, just keep all your moves hidden. This person's going to want to sabotage this connection, okay? They only want control over your life and you. They don't want anyone else near you. This is a narcissist that's just going to come in. They're about to come in and start some kind of argument or fight with you, okay? Knight of Swords Tower. Okay, just to take their frustrations out on you and feed their ego. That's all they want to do is bring you down back to this position here or this position here in all of these swords. They want you broke and stuck in your head. And they want control of your life. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let me see what your advice is on this one i don't like this person's energy so you're dealing with the narcissist okay who refuses to take a look at themselves they just i don't know why you're such a big target for this person but it's almost like they're targeting you you know they watch you non-stop um they want to see you fall. They want to see you sad. They want to see you poor and struggling. What the heck is this person's flipping problem? Like, for real, the people like this really upset me. Because, honestly, you're just focused on you. Um, yeah, keep going by the book here, Collective. You're being spiritually led, okay? Yeah, the divine is with you, and I feel like like this mama bear here the divine's going to protect you as well okay this person though i feel like they're coming back around just just know that um you could even be maybe led to a new home a new location where this person doesn't know where you are um i feel like they just want this person out of your life too okay they do the divine is giving you messages maybe about this or yeah giving you what you need to make a house move okay they're giving you what you need to make a house move just breathe try to remain calm okay don't let this person get you out of your head either you know just try to remain calm i would say don't even engage with this person at all Okay, when they come in to start this argument, I feel like you need to have your boundaries up and not even deal with it, okay? Because you have a new soulmate connection coming in that's going to bring change to everything. Somebody who's going to protect you, somebody who's going to love you the right way. 
And this person that's been wearing a mask here, I feel like it's over for them. Just let this situation end, okay? And get ready to accept the new into your life. Yeah. And just know that you're being spiritually led and protected here. Wow. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, take care of you and peace out.